Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, where we continue to have the strongest and strangest Eden runs. And that will change. <laughs> Good damage, great rate of fire. Actually, great damage, great rate of fire, bad speed, and bad HP combined with a, a terrible starting item here. RJNWA12J. Hmm, okay, I think that we'll take the easy way out on this one, and then we'll... Jeez, I don't know. Reroll portals? Have we finally found a reason oh, to use the D10? The rerolling of a portal does not seem to be a bad idea. Anyway, DPS is fine. We need an HP upgrade early. If we get one, good. If we don't get one, then... Oh my god, epic fetus. Okay, so what do you do here? Pretty simple job, I think. Just... Uh, Hope that you come across a Hierophant card before you die, or alternatively go to the shop and then blow up the donation machine and pick up a little cashish. I don't feel good about myself for saying that, but it has been said. You know what? Just to ensure the victory as much as possible, keep in mind on the last run, I willingly became the keeper. So if you're gonna if you're gonna step to me and suggest that, oh, this is not fair. Well, I will step to you and suggest that, good sir, it is fair. I think it's very fair indeed that we blow up our donation machine here to give us the absolute life-giving fuel that is necessary. Anyway, we got Epic Fetus, in case you weren't paying attention. Uh, it's pretty good. In fact, it's, it, it's extremely good. It makes losing almost incomprehensible, although not literally incomprehensible. Previously in my life, I have said we're not taking Epic Fetus. Uh, now that there's Epic Fetus synergies, I disagree with that line of reasoning. I think Epic Fetus is a perfectly fine item to take. Does it make things a little too easy? Yeah, but, you know, on the last run, I used the clicker to re-roll myself into the Keeper. So, you know, are you going to keep beating that drum forever? I might keep beating that drum for today. What we're going to look for is some cool Epic Fetus synergies uh, that can really make this run pop. If we can get a Brimstone, if we can get a... Sad bombs plus anything, basically. Anything along those lines will work. Honestly, like, I don't dislike fighting poops. They're, like, the easiest enemies in the game, but they were also very mobile and annoying to me. What did I get hit by? I trust you, game. You tend to be well made. But what the fuck killed me, or hit me there, because... I feel like I have been betrayed on an outrageous level. Bombs are key. Tears up. Not really what we're needing, but not bad. And this should be a secret room. The secret room is here that should give us... Well, first off, it just gave us a key, but it may also give us access to the shop. This was a terrible idea. Or was it? Look at this money. Spending all your money on me and spending time on me. And we still have our strength card. So we're definitely going to go try to buy something from the shop here. That was one of the better uh, cards against humanity cards. Restock gives us a zany engine. Pay to win gives us the ability to reroll every item room. Is that the case? I believe so. Two of diamonds. Better than strength. All right. So what's the game plan now? It keeps changing dynamically at runtime. This didn't change it much, but I'm very happy to have it. Um, we would like to get as much money as possible, and then maybe go to the hush fight. We, really, like, if possible, we want two steam sales. Two steam sales, buy everything from the shop, ball out of control. Uh, to be honest with you, my, like, short-term priority is replacing our space bar item. But as much as I want to replace it, there's no point in replacing it with a bomb when we presently have, like, unlimited numbers of those. So... As of right now, there's a little bit of a holding pattern, but restock is one of the most obvious uh, Zane enablers in the game. So I'm going to be happy to have that. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Have we used that joke before? Two or three thousand times? Okay, that's what they tell me. You know what? Let's go with the uh, let's go with the rerolls. I actually think it's better for us. Plus, we had uh, the locust last time. So no real reason to take them now except for the fact that they're you know doubtlessly some of the best trinkets in the game 
And we'll blow this up. We're guaranteeing ourselves to deal with the devil. Bob's your uncle, etc., etc. Ooh, you know what? Get rerolled, sons. Somehow we did not get hit. No, we definitely did get hit there. This is almost worse. Dude. Thank you. Okay. Blank rune. Burkano. Very good. Ansu's unnecessary. The gods is a spirit heart. Rhythm is a dancer. All right, so we're sticking with two of diamonds as we head onwards and upwards here. Almost at a genuine start of a streak. Not quite a streak, but a genuine start to a streak, in my opinion. Five wins, not that, you know, we're quite there yet, but it's enough to start being like, you know, we're, we're making progress. This is something I'm committed to. It's not just a one and done. You know, if I, if I lose, no big deal. Now there's like, there's consequence associated with this run. So we actually uh, could get a deal with the Angel run, so you have my word that if we can swing a Mega Satan fight, I will endeavor to do so. With Ed as my witness. If you give me those Angel statues, I will endeavor to fight them. Oh, there was like zero reason to ever take damage there. Money, please. Every nickel is actually two nickels for now. The dream is that we actually get over 40 whatever cents, 49 cents, uh, and instead we get um, free money to spend, and then we get to 99 cents anyway, and then with restock, hopefully we get like a steam sale, buy twice as much stuff, or maybe even two steam sales, buy infinite stuff. We'll see though, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to overplay our hand here, too much at least. Mama Mega, I would say, is unnecessary. Also, sometimes just downright undesirable. We don't really need any other kind of consumables, though. So I think we're just gonna move along here and see what the heck comes up. This is like 40 cents. This is like a pinata full of money. Why doesn't anybody do that? I... I... Hello. I'm trapped in here. I guess there's myriad reasons you wouldn't want to fill a pinata full of... Free me. Look at that value. Um, there's myriad reasons you wouldn't want to fill a pinata full of money. First off, the kids are going to be very competitive. 80 cents to a 10-year-old child is like... It might as well be $200 to an adult, right? Like, that is the freedom to buy a snack of their choice. They'll go crazy for it. There, there's going to be hurt feelings. The other one is... Physically might be a hazard, you know, you're smacking around this pinata all of a sudden you got quarters falling, you know, hitting kids in the face Parents are gonna be too pleased, you know, Jimmy's got school pictures next week It's gonna make it hard to go for the casting call for, you know Children of the Corn 8 And it would be really heavy Candy tends to be pretty light. Ooh, a speed upgrade is nice, but Tiny Planet won't do anything for us, so I think I have license to get rid of that one this time. We'll go for that one, too. Poison, who uh, really cares? You know, a little chest, it's okay, but, you know, it's no big... Oh, that's the stuff! It's like a damaged tripler right there. I don't know, though. I think I was thinking about it the other day. It has been 11 years since I graduated from high school. When I was in high school, a soda was a dollar and a bag of potato chips was a dollar. It seemed like the it, like it was made for us. You're like, yeah, it, it, it's the, the Lay's Index. Sorry, for you in the UK, that's the Walker's Index. A bag of chips is a dollar. That's the, the Canadian Mint sets the price of those. Now, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll buy a, you know, like a bottle of soda before I go to class or something like that. It's like a 215 or something like that. Is, it, is that fair? If you're in high school right now in Canada, but also in the U.S., prices, at least when the dollar was at parity, they tended to be similar. But what's what are you paying for a soda in this day and age? A can of soda, one fifty, more? There's nothing we really. Oh, you know what? We could have used Krampus's head there, which is actually basically the only real reason we should be holding Krampus's head at all at this point. Mostly, I just feel pity for you guys to have grown up in a generation. Where you weren't like, oh, eight bucks? That's eight cans of soda. Or four cans of soda and four bags of barbecue Lay's potato chips. Doesn't have to be Lay's. You can just get some extra Pepsi Blues. We had vending machines in ninth grade. All sorts of relics in those. 
The people pe people probably know Pepsi Blue. This is the weird blueberry flavored pe Pepsi that was really bad, but it came out when I was exactly the right age to be like, yeah, you know, this is pretty good. It was not pretty good. I'm sorry if you work for the Pepsi Cola Corporation. The early 2000s were a weird time. Everything's trying to get more extreme. Didn't need to be more extreme. Probably just needed less high fructose corn syrup. Anyway, we're going to do a deal with the Angel. And I mean, we already did a deal with the Angel. We got the Miter, which, let's be honest, probably not going to be that relevant when it comes to making our, our run successful because the box has already been picked. However, um, I am stoked that we get um, higher Angel precedent. We're still waiting. I mean, A, on the world to change. John Mayer would be proud. And B... Uh, for something that elevates this run a little bit more. I mean, we got damage, but we're not really interested in just doing more damage with our, uh... It's a two of diamonds. We need to keep it. We're not really interested in doing more damage. We're interested in, uh... Like, getting some cool effects. Homing tears with brimstone. I feel like in a weird, like, fallacy... Oh, fuck, I don't have it available. Um, not a weird fallacy, but a, a counterintuitive thing. The only time it's acceptable to take Brimstone on a wide level is when your run is already so good that you're like, ah, shit, well, you might as well. I'm taking it on this one. Stop. That's a new item. The run is saved. Mystery gift wrapped up nice for you. Let's take King Baby. Just because I, th I still think we got a chance to get more money before the, uh... Before we go for... Oh, it's just an item! Dude! So mystery, this is so weird to me, because if mystery gift is just a random item, isn't that the same as what happens before we walk into the shop? Like, before we walk into the shop, it rolls, basically, to determine what we're going to find in there. I guess it's the same as a, because it, it could give you anything, it's slightly different, but, like, functionally it sounds very similar. It's a little weird. Maybe the crux of that item is when you use it matters. And maybe the crux of that item is uh, if you use it on, like, a deal with the devil, that matters. Because you might get another deal with the devil item or another deal with the angel item, for that matter. Or maybe there's something more. Maybe it's, I mean, this is a huge stretch, but maybe it's, like, spice from Enter the Gungeon. And uh, once you see mysterious whatever, one time, you're more likely to see it again in the future. But I'm skeptical. So I'll give this guy, like, as many bombs as he wants. I recognize I'm not playing the bomb beggar right now, but... I will give this guy all of the bombs. Basically like a slightly better, like a one-ninth damage upgrade. Sticky bombs might be okay. From uh, from the ceremonial robes, it's not bad. Nothing to write home about necessarily. Well, actually it might be something to write home about. First off, it would require that, you know, whoever I'm writing to is very interested in the Binding of Isaac. Probably not a letter that I'm going to bother Canada Post with at this point in my life. I don't know if I have too many people, like, you know, back in my ancestral hometown that are like, I'd really like to know how uh, your Isaac runs are going. They could always just watch on YouTube. That's what I encourage them to do. And if they like the video, like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe right here to see more. Okay, that's a crawl space. That was unexpected. Dude, I have to shoot before he pops up. Well, we've done it. I really thought that was going to be more complicated. Emperor card. Blank card, Emperor card. Okay, so it's got, like, that's fairly cool, but we're not going to abuse it. We're just going to take blank card for now because it could be better in the future. Hourglass, not that interesting. Host hat is immunity to explosions, so it's probably the right call, but nah, dude, we're going deeper. We're going deeper. This is probably our last roll. Yeah, we got glaucoma. It's pretty not great. D12 rerolls rocks. So of all the D items, <laughs> of all the D items, um, I'm I guess I'm most interested in trying to figure out how to use the D7 a little bit better. People, there's been some scuttlebutt on the subreddit. They're like D7 is a very underrated item, and I was like mostly just smiling and nodding because I don't really fully understand the D7 myself. So. Uh, you know, I want to I wanna help inform my viewers. My viewers help inform me. 
I want to help inform my viewers. If we can get the D7 to show up, maybe we'll try to make it work. That's the one that allows you to reroll rewards. Sounds like a Pat Sajak Scooby Doo impression. Reroll rewards. Get it? Okay. I mean, it's 72 cents right now. With restock, that's pretty freaking good. So please just let me finish our angel dream here and we can go back to deals with the devil. All right, no angel dream. We really do not care about getting uh, about getting that HP. We're better off this way, I think. Let's see what... Uh, well, there's nothing going on here. I was looking at uh, Skype. I thought we could have an episode of Northern Lions Skype Corner, but it's the superest inside baseball that we've ever had. They're talking about, like, what bitrate do you stream at? Well, you know. I stream at, I think I stream at 3,500, which allows up to 6,000, but, you know, you're just, it's nice to have a little buffer. We have an upload of 10,000 megabits per second, so we could probably go to, like, four and be fine, but just in case the internet fluctuates, 3,500 is pretty good. And it gives us a little bit of a buffer in case our uh, connection speed sort of goes up and down. You know what I mean? That's his inside baseball, and like nobody cares. But and I recognize that. But I had to, I had to bring it up because the segue was there. You know, we're still at like a zero guppy chance, and that's not changing there. We're only on Necropolis one. Now that's a little surprising. It's a new catchphrase I'm trying out. Now that's. A little surprising. It's for my new Barbara Walter style, excuse me, interview show. Guess what it's going to be called? Well, the irony of the show is actually that it's going to be about things that are not at all surprising. I'm just going to open this way. Save ourselves two seconds. It's going to be obvious interviews. And then we'll like, well, yeah, you know, working at a cheese factory. It's nice, but... You know, when you come home, you smell like cheese. Now that's a little surprise. Okay, this joke's going nowhere, dude. We don't really need a better card. Two of Diamonds is really, really good. Uh, effectively, it allows us to buy everything we'd ever want from the shops forever. So, you know, we're talking about getting a barbecued Lay's or something like that. Why not, why not buy the whole store, you know? We don't really need that. And nor can we even take it. Potato chip flavor is something that I I know I have a divisive opinion on. When it comes to potato chip flavors, so many... I think the consensus, at least here, consensus number one choice is sour cream and onion. To be honest with you, I am not a... Oh, we got it. We got to take it. I'm not a sour cream and onion man. For uh, This is a very strange thing to say, but I find that if I eat too many sour cream and onion potato chips, my stomach feels weird. I d other potato chips don't do that. Maybe I have some kind of uh, reaction to the flavoring. I mean, it's not like I'm allergic. You know, I'm just mildly irritated. This is a new item. Nintendo or something? Broken modem. Lag. I have no idea what that did. We, uh, I'll tell you what, this cost us like three cents in the whole scheme of things. So let's grab this and could re-roll, but can also, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if I pointed this out. We have unlimited money. Might as well keep buying. Eventually, there's just not going to be anything left in the shop, but stuff we want. Oh, that's it. Restock chaos blank card. Two of diamonds. Um, re-roll, give me a battery charge. No battery charge. Uh, nothing yet. <sighs> guppy's head. Gotta take a little peep of that guppy's head. Can't get enough of that guppy's head. Nah, do we want to reroll? I don't know. These are pretty good. Dad's lost coin is luck. And then, it little brim, I understand the problems with what I did there, but it's not going to take us very long to get back up there. See, like we're already at 24 cents again, so just be cool with it for now. Personally, I these are these are not Canadian specific, but they are flavors that I don't think are that popular in the US. I'm a I'm a salt and vinegar man. I'm a dill pickle man. We got both of those here. I like them both. I like them both a lot. Those are my potato chip of choice. 
or and the you know the kettle cooked Miss Vicky's or you know they're they're all very good. At least we're killing these people in one hit. I mean, like doing boss rush is is on my list of things to do today. We got like a roughly fifty percent chance of a deal with the angel. We missed out on that. That is incredible to me. Skype corner is popping off. Austin said Nick Player Unknown Battlegrounds is pretty fun. Nick said I don't want to pay for it if I'm not going to play it but I would buy it if it was $10. And Austin said, nah, I got you, it's a little pricey. Fun though. I mean, it's $10 is a little... Just trying to say, you know, you, is, is it as good as Braid? It's probably not as good as Braid, right? But Braid was $15 when it came out in 2008. To suggest that a game, a you know, 3D game with 100 something concurrent players on each server, suggests that that's $10. I know you're probably listening to this, Nick. That's a li I mean, like, I know with Steam sales, it's a race to the bottom in prices, but that seems a little, you know, unfair of a price point. I know what you're saying to yourself right now is, you know, well, I mean, it was just my suggestion for what I would personally pay for it. I'm just saying it's perpetuating an image that, you know, games should be cheaper. And I don't, you know, it's some, uh, he's froze. Oh, he lagged. I see. If we face enemies, like their shots stop in the air sometimes. Is that what happens there? Not always, just sometimes. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it the boss rush at the expense of our item room. And if you're gonna bitch about that, I'm gonna go to the shop. The shop is actually like a million item rooms, unless it has greed in it, because of the fact that we have um, restock, and you know, the other thing which is good, which I forgot, and that's two of diamonds. Okay, no greed. Uh, sad bombs. We need it, but first we'll double. Which means we are not going to go to boss rush. Probably. Instead, we're going to pick up a bunch of items right here. Because boss rush, if we can already get items anywhere, we should probably just take them here. And then there's like faster bombs, but I don't know if those are actually good. Um, Ten extra bombs is not relevant, but it is passive. But we have a reroll machine anyway. Tool club, so it's way better. Okay. Shots are good. Oh, dude, yeah, definitely... Immaculate Conception, why not? Um, we're not going to make it to Boss Rush, so we should definitely slow our roll here. It's not a really good idea. Sad Bombs is going to be dope, though. I'm excited. It's just a great item. It's like... If we had a contest for Ryan's favorite item in Isaac... Sad bombs might be. There's like almost never a run where I get sad bombs and I'm not thrilled. I'm not even talking about like 50-50. I'm like, I'm always 10 out of 10. Okay, poison bombs are just not that cool relative to what else we could have here. So, Jesus, Jesus, sure, it's okay. You know, but wait, what? Who cares? Latch key. I could use the luck, but. And then plan C. Everybody, or at least some people are probably going to be like, when are you going to give plan C? It's. It's just due. Well, you know, it's not my fault that Plan C is designed to be an item that is never useful. I don't mean to be rude. All I'm saying is that, you know, you can really only use this item when you have Lazarus Rags. And you're going to die anyway. So, you're not really getting too much, uh, too much value out of it, I feel. Relax. Amnesia. Okay, okay, okay. The Sad Bombs are doing a great job of finishing off multi-stage enemies as well, which I'm very happy with. Um, excuse me, sir. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's not even a concern. We missed completely, huh? Okay, that one sort of hit. In hindsight, Little Brim was the most needless pickup in my adult life. Okay, stop that. We're 100% out of sync. Closer. Closer. <laughs> it's a pathetic fight. We finally made it happen. We got to deal with the devil. Are you kidding me? I want this Mega Satan dream, you jerk. Nah, we're not taking that. Are you kidding me? Beelzebub and HP? Trade HP for HP? I don't think so. Hello, Devil Deal. Hello, you stinky Devil Deal. 
Mm, go be worse, ugly. Oh, wait, you can't. So what do we need on this round? Well, first off, to start taking it a little bit more seriously. I mean, we are probably basically unkillable. But it would be nice to not take bad damage that reflects poorly on me as a human being. So I think um, in particular, flying and something like succubus. Basically, some, flying allows us to avoid taking shitty damage. And then uh, succubus does damage to enemies that, you know, might get into my grill, basically. It's not a big deal either way, but figured we might as well peep that, honestly. It's not like we have a damage penalty to worry about or anything like that. And, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't feel the compulsion to go to the curse room. Uh, we have... Very good setup right now. I, I think you got hit by two Polyphemus shots, maybe. That's what killed you. Um, we also... Do have a... Ooh, that's very good. We do have a reason to go to the Hush fight. I would like to, uh, if possible, buy as much as possible. And we can get restock anywhere. Doesn't have to be from the Hush fight. It could be right here, for instance, but... Um, we also have nothing to do... Eh, that's not worth it. Although, we don't really have much else to do with it. Uh, we have nothing to do with our uh, existing money as well. We got blank card to a diamond, so... It's on my to-do list to figure out, you know... Either get a new card... Sorry about this, didn't mean to do that. Um, either get a new card or... Uh, find something to do with our existing money. We're one-shotting the blow, that's a very good sign. An angel deal. I will take it. Let me kill this the statue first. This is a great run, but it, it does warrant a reroll. It's in prime reroll territory. Let's do it. Okay, we got Seraphim. It, what, what do we care, right? We got we also got what we wanted. We got the succubus. Finger curls on the monkey's paw. Um Take pageant boy so we get a reroll on the next floor. And every floor is gonna be different, but we still have blank card, although we lost two of diamonds because we must have gotten a little baggy. So we got the mom transform. Okay, this is great. It's actually like okay. Oh, we got some special bombs there. Um, but it's actually excellent. We have Dead Eye Continuum Death's Touch Tears. You're not dead yet, huh? Basically could not be uh, better off on this run. But again, all it takes is one bad run. But what do you do about that? Without restock, there's not as much reason to fight the hush. But in, if we looked at it, like, why... Like, if we didn't ever have restock on this run, would we want to fight hush? We'd probably look at this run and go, yeah, let's fight hush. Tears up. Dude, we have a two fire rate. That's amazing. Especially because we can get a good card down there that might be helpful for us. Um, the, the only thing is, we don't know how our run is going to look once we get down there. So, I mean, it's a beautiful bouquet of colors right now. And we do have our second angel statue. Wait, wait, did I not pick up the key piece last time? Maybe I got distracted and forgot. There it is anyway. So we will fight Mega Satan one way or the other, uh, assuming we make it through the Hush fight, but all I'm asking, nay, begging, is please don't screw me on this floor. And don't screw me like that. But I love you, Edmund. Don't, don't screw me like that. Okay, this, I mean, it seems weird. Great damage, good rate of fire. I, I think our curving tears is gonna do nothing, so let's take common cold. Get a little poison damage. And then, uh, might as well take the nun's habit. And then I think we'll, uh, donate as much money as they'll let us. Oh, we have Isaac's heart. Oh, we have money equals power as well, so don't stop. I mean, and by don't stop, I mean stop. Uh, speed upgrade. Actually, extremely valuable here. Take all of our money, of course. 0 0.03 damage up, so we have some kind of, um, Goathead is worthless here, uh, except there's a re-rollable item, but we have some kind of, um, damage multiplier downgrade, maybe, maybe Tech 2 is rolled in here somewhere. 
We are doing a lot of damage though. So what's what's the game plan? Well, quite simply, we have Isaac's heart. So I'm gonna routinely kind of try to reset myself in this situation, but really, um, oh, we have Blue Baby's only friend too. Um, really, our, our our principal goal here is gonna be to stand in front of those Isaac's, uh, the tears that could hit Isaac's heart. Which inevitably becomes nearly impossible, but... Yeah, that's tough. You may have noticed as well. Um, doing my best to keep, like, our fake Ludo technique shot up there. We also have, uh, Bloody Lust. Bloody Lust. Which is doing decent work for us. I'm just peeping over on that side of the screen, like, what else we might have that could help us. And really, I mean... What you see is what you get with respect to those items. It's, it's very hard to dodge shots with the heart. I'm rest assured I'm I'm trying my damnedest right now. Oh, I appreciate actually the leech is uh, is more than meets the eye. It's not that what you see is what you get. It's more than meets the eye when it when it kills enemies. It's doing good stuff for us. Just kind of keep ourselves in this you know rough general area right now. We have very, very limited concerns, given how the fight has gone so far, plus our existing HP. That shot snuck in, but you can see by watching that shot sneak in, that we don't really need to worry about shots sneaking in on the regular. You know, we got Guillotine and uh, Sack Dagger to offer some protection. In this way, it's actually great. Oh, we have a Halo of Flies or something to protect us as well, but it's actually great to have a boss like Hush that mostly stands still so we don't have to move a lot. So once we get a once we get a spot that works, we're actually relatively well off here. Um, we are now taking a lot more damage. Just hoping Leech maybe give us a little bit more HP than it's managed to so far. It's immune to beams. It's immune to beams. I mean, immune to beams is also my first uh, celebrity crush. You'll remember when she was on All That before becoming famous for having some unfortunate breakdowns on Twitter that hopefully she's now sorted out. That's a joke about mispronouncing Amanda Bynes' name. See, don't let me, don't let anybody ever tell you I don't get the deep cuts going on in these episodes. I get the deep cuts going on in these episodes. Curse of the Lost. What is this? What is that? It's like an Ipecac Parasitoid tier. We have 86 damage. Um, the hitbox is also so large, I can't avoid being hit. At least, I can't avoid being hit if I hit them in the center of the screen. But this is still great. We just have to be... Okay, we also have kidney stones, so that throws a little wrinkle into things, but... Uh, and proptosis, I guess, but we just have to be very careful. Wow, that's not good. It didn't kill him? Mm, but the shot was enormous. It didn't kill him. Mm, grew to substantial proportions. It didn't kill him. We got 86 damage. It didn't kill him. We've even got proptosis. It didn't kill him. <laughs> Look at the DPS I told you. It didn't kill him. We even got kidney stone, yeah. It didn't kill him. Cause your name missing no didn't kill him. They even cut us on camera. Okay, get out of here. Tyrone came in and he curated our run, gave us a hitbox too large. We don't need that. Okay, that's the joke. Is it's run its course. Please, it's still better than sack of sacks. I still get tweets every day thanking me for sack of sacks though. So you know. I respect that. What is this new trinket? Wooden cross. My faith protects me. I mean, pay to play wasn't doing much for us at that point. It had been great over the course of the run, though. I was having a good time. Still a pretty good uh, reroll. Despite the fact that occasionally there's damage that we basically can't avoid hurting ourselves with. It's a pretty good uh, reroll. I mean, look at that. The spiders were crazy. So all we have to do is have one decent floor here, and we're we're set. 
Right, Mega Satan. So we still got... What in the world is this? What in the world is this? What is this? I actually don't know. You know what? <laughs> Fuck this, dude. I'm taking all this. Don't get me wrong. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Because whatever this run is... I am very well. You know what? We do have Jacob's ladder, so let's let's give it the benefit of the doubt for a second here. Don't let it. Don't get it twisted. That's the spiders doing work for you. That's still the spiders. Once the spiders are gone, we'll see how things look. The spiders will never leave. Oh, we've only got three left. They kill about three bosses each, but. Like, our shots do no damage. We have good tier effects, and Jacob's Ladder's doing some fun stuff from time to time, but... it's about it, man. Are we out of spiders? And we do have the mulligan. Yeah, this is a this is a full fucking reroll here. Thank you for existing, forget me now. I really appreciate that. Okay. Something better than that. That's Oh, but then we can't fight Mega Satan. Ah, but look at this. Distract yourself. We can still fight Mega Satan. I'm going to take this into some rooms just to see how it looks. I mean, we have a good luck stat as well, so yeah, that's more along the lines of like what I'm looking for here. Cuz this runs a little on the silly side. We also have Angry Fly, another new booster pack item. Dude, this run became zany. There were times, I mean, when we had Epic Fetus, it wasn't looking that zany, let's be realistic, right? But we made it zane by the end. Look who we got our zanes on now. So I'm, I'm just gonna do this room and then I'm out. Then I'm ready to, oh, we have the wafer or something. Oh no, because it took the uh, eternal heart. We do not have the wafer. Um, I'm just gonna go fight the boss. I'm ready, I think. Let's do it. We have Egghead as well. I can tell because it looks like we're wearing a hat because it splits up your sprite all weirdly. I gotta say, conjoined plus marked, not bad. Absolutely getting the job done. Because you don't really have to aim if you're shooting in all directions at all times. The occasional pencil shot is really good here too. I do wish we had uh, the tractor beam. I was actually just going to call it the tractor, which would be a little embarrassing. I mean, I only have infinity hours in this game, so wouldn't expect me to know the items' names or anything by now. It's a little painful, but we healed up nicely. I think we got Gimpy, maybe? The spirit hearts on the ground and red hearts on the ground? Seems like get the work of Gimpy, if I'm being honest. It's still not that great of a uh, of a run here to finish, to be honest with you. It's good, but we we our first reroll I think was the best one we had all game. That was just ridiculous. Still like quite good, I'll admit. Do we have explosion immunity? No, like that was a great test. We clearly do not have explosion immunity. Either way though, this dude's dusted. Once his dusting is complete, which it is right now, we'll pop the chariot card. Will we still keep attacking with marked? Probably not. Get, get some fire put down first then. Of course we have hot bombs. We totally keep firing with marked when we have the chariot. That's actually very, very good. Alright. Good good fight, dude. Oh, I didn't. I would have. I would have gone to the void floor. God damn it. Oh, well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.